A recent ice show in Chicago assembled a skating cast of stellar artists, all giving of their talents in benefit of hospitalized war veterans in that area. Substituting steel runners for ballet slippers, the Chicago Figure Skating Club performed the graceful evolutions of the ballet russe. Individual performers display symmetry of style and perfection of poise. Substituting rink for barnyard, a certain bovine family cavort in amusing antics. Lonnie DeVore dances on ice the dance of islanders who never felt a freeze. Little Miss Knickerbocker in the person of 17-year-old Donna Jean Popsicle, a national skating champion. and the glamorous star of Ice Capades, Anne Robinson. From Ballet Russe to Jitterbug, an exhibition from the Sonia Henney Show. High jinks on rinks, Phyllis Legg, in all the world, no other girl stilt skater. And now, acrobatic brilliant, Adele Inge, star of numerous rink reviews. Chicago's ice queen, lovely Elaine Burtnick, and her attendants of honor. Introducing Miss Lois Fisher, comic artist and author of Cartooning for Fun and Profit, illustrator of the popular Marge of Sunrise Mountain, creator of Dumb Dora. No, you've heard about Dumb Dora. She's that kitchen pinup girl that always misinterprets the recipe book, gets the directions all wrong because she takes them at their face value. Like this time, for instance. The lady of the house came in, and she found Dora drawing this on the kitchen wall. And she said, Dora, what are you doing now? And Dora said, but ma'am, the recipe book said, draw the turkey before you stuff it. Well, let's go back to dumb Dora. Here she is again. Always doing something different. This is the time the lady of the house found her like this. She was running out the kitchen door. It was just before dinner. Of course, she'd been reading that recipe book again. Well, the lady of the house came and said, Dora, where are you going? And Dora said, but ma'am, the recipe book said, mix all ingredients, stir, put in a warm place, and then beat it. The lady of the house knew Dora always would do something dumb, but she didn't know it would be quite as bad as this. This time, Dora came in to the dining room like this. Everybody looked around. And the lady of the house said, Dora. And Dora said, but ma'am, the recipe book said to serve this salad without dressing. Oh, 
death. Gemology, the unusual occupation of Miss Suzanne Steinem, may express an hereditary trait. Her great-great-grandmother appraised gems in the old country. Here is a half-million-dollar exhibit of gems, all collected and arranged by Miss Steinem. Here, she displays the foramine in Mogul diamonds. And a link bracelet set with diamonds. You may have this diamond and ruby bracelet if you have 500 more than $5,000 to pay for it. This is the Great Mughal. And this is the Shan of Shal, if you know what I mean. This emerald ring, set in diamonds, and black opal clip, set in the same, are yours for a paltry five or six thousand dollars apiece. Graduate of Smith College, Miss Suzanne Steinem occupies a high estate in her provocative career. We present now a quartet of California apparel creators. The first, Viola Dimmitt. Her model, from Powers, Frances Dyer. Starting some 20 years ago, her scanty capital but $250, within five years, Viola Dimmitt's industry employed nearly 700 skilled craftsmen. The model displays a rain or shine coat of water repellent satin back twill, rounded shoulders, yoke front and back, rounded revers, and full tapering sleeves. Right smart, I called it. Now, an all-weather evening wrap in emerald green satin back twill, satin side out, giving the fabric a luxurious sheen. 12 gore back, three-quarter length sleeves with wide turn back cuffs, jewel pin button, and detachable hood. Here's Agnes Barrett, her model, Barbara Bushman. Miss Barrett is foremost among designers of sports and casual dress. Evolving from her drawing board, this is a black and white patio dress, an off-shoulder cotton blouse in white with eyelet trim ruffle, and black linen, full skirt with wide white braid. Now, Pat Primo. A native Californian, her costumes are as romantically enticing as her locale. Her model, Jackie Lambert. This is a black and white woven check, four-piece poncho play suit in butcher linen with midriff bra, snug-fitting shorts, poncho coat, and button-down front skirt. Mary DeWeese, noted designer of swimsuits and sweaters. The chairman of the board of a group of prominent picture studio designers. Her model, luscious Tony Doyle. A fingertip terry cloth beach coat with hand blocked palm leaf design and of two way stretch knitted white. A brief bra, diaper type shorts. Here's one bathing beauty daughter not afraid to go in the water. What? 